Hi everyone, welcome to lesson four. Lesson four is why we sell cars on social. And we're gonna just get rolling and get right into it. Okay, so our goal of why we sell cars on social is we're gonna teach you seven reasons right now why auto dealers utilize social media to sell more cars. And we're gonna provide strategies and examples that'll work for you. Trust. The best way to build a relationship is through trust and communication. People buy from people they trust. So the best way to build trust and communication with your customers is to go where they go. So I always, I have a motto and I always tell our customers, if people like you, trust you, believe you and respect you, you can get all of those values shown to the public through social. And when they believe those things, right, they like you, they trust you, they believe you and they respect you, they will buy a product or service from you. And the best way to build trust is through social, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Okay, so here's the reasons why you should, you know, use social to sell more cars. Now I'm filming this in 2022. However, I have 2020 statistics in here and the stats are even higher today. So one is the statistics, two is you need to be relevant today, three is brand awareness, four is you will get results faster. I can promise you that if you want to sell an extra 10 cars a month, you will get results faster on social. Community, personalized and human, right? Social selling is personalized and human. And then you will stay in the competitive game. I'm going to go through each one of these items and just elaborate them on a, you know, elaborate on them a little bit more. But these are literally the seven reasons why you should use social to sell more cars. Okay, so some statistics. We're going to start with that. The population of Facebook is 2 billion active users. 76% of adults log in daily and they actually log in 12 to 14 times a day right? They don't watch TV 12 to 14 times a day. They don't listen to the radio 12 to 14 times a day. They literally, literally get lost in TikTok and Facebook and they log in 12 to 14 times a day. The average person actually has over 600 friends in the circle, in their circle that they can influence. And when they tag their friends, which I'll get into after, they're then spreading their reach to those 600 friends and those 600 friends and those 600 friends. All right, 80% of people follow a business on Instagram and 100%, it's 100% human and personalized, right? So when you sell vehicles or you sell any product and service, the more human and personalized that you can make it, um, the more comfortable people feel buying a product from you. So that was reason one. Now, reason two and three was in order to be relevant and create brand awareness, um, you need to be on social. So if you're not on social, you're not relevant in 2022 or as we move forward. And also brand awareness. How do people get to know about you? They get to know about you through social and that's where they decide if they like you or trust you or want to do business with you. So in order to be relevant and create brand awareness, you need a personal profile and a business page. So for example, Tyler Jones, sales professional, he's posting trucks and cars at his Chrysler store. He's adding a call to action button in his posts. And his post says, get approved with a professional. We have a large inventory of used vehicles at different price ranges. And we are also the number one volume Chrysler Dodge Ram dealer in the prairies. I will save you time and money. Um, get approved now by heading over to, and this just has, you know, the name of the dealership auto finance or send me a message or you could have a more specific call to action button. There's many types of posts that you can create on social to become relevant and create brand awareness. And as you go through these lessons, we're going to walk you through new car offers, used car offers, what's my trade worth offers, get pre-approved offers and everything else that you will need in order to be successful on social for relevancy and brand awareness. Okay, reason number four, why we social sell. You will get results faster. I have, so this is our fifth year in business. 
We've worked with thousands of salespeople all over the United States and Canada, and we're probably expanding into other countries this year or next year. But you will get results faster. And I've seen salespeople sell an extra five cars, 10 cars, 15 cars, 20 cars, literally off of social. And one of my favorite customers, he used to be an eight car guy, Ryan. He's now consistently a 25 car guy. And all he did was build this roadmap on social to get him to where he wants to go. And obviously you need to go lesson by lesson. And as you go lesson by lesson, you will gain the skills and knowledge that you need in order to be successful on social. So the reason why you also get results faster is there's 1.6 billion people using Messenger and you can communicate about the trade, the car they want to buy. You can do virtual walk arounds. You can do everything in the messenger platform to sell someone a vehicle without them ever coming in your showroom until the very last part of the process. You can also book appointments in messenger and Facebook will send out reminders to that customer and most people on their cell phone. So most people have their notifications turned on on their phone. Um, and they'll receive the messenger notifications and they check messenger before they check email, because what do people do with email? They go, oh, delete, 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 keep. Okay, fine. I'll read that. Delete, 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 delete. Whereas messenger, it's a live chat and they typically will read it faster and before they will actually go through their email. Same thing with text message. And then you book, you create your appointment in Messenger. And we have a lesson that's going to go over this in more detail, but I'm giving you um, the generics of booking appointments in Messenger right now. Um, so you book the appointment, Facebook sends out the reminder. Now, reason number five why we social sell is community. You are all, you all live in a community. You're part of a community. Hopefully you love the community you live in. Um, and people like to do business with people in their community, whether it's real estate, cars, um, painting, electric, plumbing, whatever it is, people like to do business with people, again, that they like, they trust, they believe in, and they respect. And then word of mouth goes a long, long way, especially on social. So you want to show your community of friends and family where they should do business and why would they choose you? So... You obviously work at a dealership for a reason and you do what you do because you love it. And I know it's kind of in my blood. I sold cars for a long, long time. Um, but you want to make sure that you share in your community what you're doing. Now, people in your community will absolutely see these posts. So customers taking delivery of vehicles. And we really, really emphasize this, that every time you deliver a vehicle, you should always post it and if possible, tag that customer so you start reaching their friends. But here it says, congrats, Adrian, on your new 18 Chef Silverado. I hope you and your family enjoy. Thank you for your business and have a safe drive back. There's multiple stories you can put above your posts. Again, in another lesson, we'll get into further detail on the best practices. But what's really interesting about the community on social is this woman who took delivery of this vehicle, all of her friends and family liked it. And then right here, Fabian ended up buying a vehicle and Candy ended up buying a vehicle. So because this girl posted and said she absolutely loved buying from Tyler, her sales professional, her friends and family then saw the post and also purchased vehicles from Tyler. Again, they like you, they trust you, they believe you and they respect you. Okay, reason number six to sell on social, it is personalized and human. Um, that's how people communicate and connect these days. I know it's frustrating because it's sometimes not in person, but it is personalized and human. It is, you know, people take a lot of pride in their social. They post a lot about their friends and family. They show pictures of like all the happy things they do. And you can heavily connect with someone, like deeply connect with them on social. So salespeople should have their own Facebook page. So if you work at a dealership and you have your personal profile, you should also have a business page. Again, in one of the future lessons, we're going to talk a little bit more about building that business page. That'll help it become more personalized and human. And 
Reason number seven why we social sell is these top performing social media posts. You will stay in the competitive game, okay? We're in a competitive world. We always have been. People try to outperform each other in the car business, right? It's just the nature of the beast and it's fun and it's exciting. And you can stay in the competitive game with your sales posts, with your customer posts, with your relationship posts, with your dealership promo posts, and with your fun posts. That's how you would stay in the competitive game. And it will help you stay ahead of the curve, but there's a lot that goes into it. And that's why in the intermediate, we have so many lessons. Right now we have 67 lessons. We just added eight more, and we're gonna continue adding more and more lessons into the intermediate to help you stay ahead of the curve. The other thing is to stay in the competitive game, you can also boost posts. So you can target in market shoppers. So if you haven't heard of boosting posts, um, I'm not gonna tell you to skip to that lesson, but it's an amazing lesson. And at some point it's gonna be the cream of the crop, the most exciting piece of this for you, is you can target in market shoppers that are ready to buy. So if you're at a Ford dealership and you sell Ford F-150 trucks and you want people that are in market ready to buy to come to you, you would do what is called a boosted post and target those in market shoppers and they will come right to you. Also to stay in the competitive game and the reason we social sell is it allows people to be their authentic self bring customers and communities of people together and the social selling culture. It's fun to be honest. Um, I have a, obviously I have a social selling culture at retail resilient. That's all we do. But I love when I go visit a car dealer and they are social selling and they're like, Oh my God, you won't believe I turned a commenter into a customer and I posted this Corvette or I put up a TRX for sale and I made like a $10,000 deal off my TRX. Like, Social is relationship buying plus car buying. So the social selling culture can be super fun. And usually when I visit a dealership and I leave, their salespeople are smiling ear to ear. So it is a lot. It's a lot of fun. Okay. And that is it for lesson number four. I'll catch you in the next lesson.